it's Emily on Sailing Vessel Temptress and today like almost every day I'm awake at 7 or 7 30 in the morning to get ready for the Georgetown Cruisers Net. The Georgetown Cruisers Net is a VHF radio show that we all have every morning at 8 a.m. on the same VHF channel and it's an opportunity for all the boats in the harbor and the local businesses and anybody else locally to tune in and connect with all the other people here um, to get the weather, to talk about any emergencies or urgent things that are going on if you're having problems with your boat or if you want to get together and do social things. It's like our morning newspaper or our social media, I guess you could say. Um, sometimes there's 200 boats in the harbor and we all get together every day for a half hour, 45 minutes and just talk about what's going on. So it's an important part of the community here in Georgetown and it's all run by volunteers. I've been doing this most days for the past six months and I did it a couple other times uh, for a few months in the other two years that we were here. So basically whenever we're in Georgetown, whenever we're anchored here, I volunteer my time to do the net. and. It's interesting and it's a lot of fun and so I w thought I would take you guys today to see how the Cruisers Net works. So I'm going to uh, get ready here, uh, check the weather, check the tides, Clark's going to make some bacon and some coffee and then you'll get to see how the Cruisers Net works. Hopefully it gives you a good uh, idea of what cruising life is like. So here we go. I smell bacon. Cold coffee or hot? Cold, please. I love you. All right. Do you have anything you want to put on the net this morning? Nope, I don't think so. <coughs> Lasagna! Good morning, Harbor. Good morning, Harbor. This is Emily on Sailing Vessel Temptress reminding you that the Georgetown Cruisers Net will begin at 8 o'clock a.m. on Channel 72. Please join us on Channel 72 in about five minutes for the Cruisers Net. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the 8 a.m. Georgetown Cruisers Net. Happy Friday. My name is Emily. I'm on Sailing Vessel Temptress, and I'm your net controller for today, Friday, April 19th. As usual on the Cruisers Net, I'd like to begin by calling for any emergency or priority traffic. Is everyone okay out there? Urgent or emergency traffic, please come now. Nothing heard. One more call. Any emergency or priority traffic this morning? Again, nothing good, which is always good news. Um, nothing heard, sorry. A is a reminder, during your time in Georgetown, if you do have an emergency, the local emergency number is 919 or 911. You can dial 919 or 911 to connect with someone locally who can help you. We also use VHF Channel 68 for hailing and emergencies here in Georgetown. Moving on to weather and tides for today. Today the sun rose at 6.38 a.m. The sun will set at 7.26 p.m. this evening. Our tides for today are in a high-low high pattern with the low in the middle of the day around 2.30. Specifically, we've got a high of 2.8 feet at 8.28 this morning, a low of 0 feet at 2.32 p.m. this afternoon, and another high of 3.3 feet at 8.58 p.m. tonight. Temperatures today range from 76 to 82. Current temperature is 77. We can expect a partly cloudy day today with winds from the southeast 15 to 20, gusting 25. Chris Parker says vessels should be finding protected anchorage between now and Sunday as the southern swell tends to wrap around and affect open areas from the west. Uh, he's also saying stray squalls, adding about five knots to the wind any time today. As for the weather outlook, it looks like we are in for a rainy weekend. Tomorrow is Saturday the 20th. We've got a couple fronts coming through. A rainy day with strong south winds 14 to 20, gusting 25. Then uh, light and variable later in the day. Sunday the 21st is Easter Sunday. It could be rainy uh, at various times throughout the day. Those light and variable winds will come up uh, to the northeast, east-northeast, 10 to 16, gusting 19. On Monday the 22nd, another slightly rainy day with some stray squalls adding about 10 knots to the wind. Uh, winds from the northeast 11 to 17 gusting 21. 
On Tuesday, we've got northeast 10 to 13. Uh, then it clocks around to the east-northeast less than 10 knots on Thursday, and it could be light and variable the rest of next week. That is what I have for weather information today. Does anybody have different or additional weather information to share? If so, please come now. I heard a click there, but no traffic. Anyone with additional weather information, please come now. Again, nothing heard, so we'll move on with the rest of today's net. Just a reminder, this is a controlled net with lots of vessels listening, so if you wish to speak on the net this morning, please state just the name of your vessel and wait to be recognized by me, your net controller, before passing your traffic. Also, before we begin, I'd like to suggest everyone turn their radio to high power during the net, and be sure to use your boat's main radio rather than a handheld so the boats in the outlying areas of the harbor can hear you. We will do our best to relay and repeat traffic as necessary so that everyone is heard. To keep us all organized and keep the net from getting too long, we will use our regular agenda today, so please plan your announcement ahead of time, keep it short and sweet, and come in at the appropriate time. If you miss your chance or come in late, just wait till final business at the end of the net, and we'll catch anything that can't wait until tomorrow. Order of topics for today begins with departures, so we can say goodbye to those vessels who are leaving us and they can be on their way. We'll follow that with local business announcements, followed by community announcements and events for the next few days. After community announcements, we'll go on to Boaters General for those who are in need of uh, ride shares, help, parts, expertise, etc. Then we'll do Trade or Giveaway, followed by Kids Corner for kids, teens, and families to share information and events. We'll welcome our newly arriving boats, and then we'll wrap up with any final business and a thought for the day if anyone has one to share. Alrighty, let's get started with departures. Anybody leaving us today? Departures, please come now. Nothing heard. Any departures this morning? Again, nothing heard. One last call for any departures. Alrighty, that was easy. How about local business announcements? Any local business announcements? Any cruisers are wanting to announce on behalf of a local business? Come now. Blue Heavens. Blue Heavens. Go ahead, Jeannie. Yes, just showing um, exhibit markets is closed today, open tomorrow from 8 to eight a.m. to 7 p.m., closed, uh, no, open on Sunday, the usual hours, 8 to 11, and then closed on Monday. So they're closed today and closed on Monday. All right, thank you, Jeannie and Blue Heaven. So Exuma Markets is closed today as well as Monday. They'll be open 8 to 7 tomorrow, Saturday, and 8 to 11 on Sunday. Other local business today? Driftwood. Driftwood, go ahead. Okay, I got a little bit of that, so uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, somebody I can hear. Um, I think Driftwood is open today, and they have their $20 all-you-can-eat pizza. Is that tonight after 7 p.m.? Can someone confirm, please? That is correct. That is correct. Okay, I can hear Driftwood for about the first five seconds, and then I just hear static. All right, so all-you-can-eat pizza tonight, 20 bucks at Driftwood Cafe, and they are open today. Any other local business today? Uh, Jillian, I barely hear you, but go ahead. Maybe someone could relay. Um, I've got a copy of the regatta uh, races and everything that's going on starting on Tuesday. Um, I'll come over to the bus uh, the bus lunch today. Anyone wants to know, they can get a hold of me. All right, thank you, Jillian. I'd love a copy as well. Jillian has a copy of the regatta schedule for next week, which starts on Tuesday for the Family Island Regatta. If anybody's interested, you can contact Jillian. Other local business today. Nothing heard. Any other local business this morning? Again, nothing heard, so we will move on to community announcements, including events for the next few days. Any community announcements, please come now. Arches is 
Desire. Hearts Desire, good morning. Morning, Emily. As uh, Julian mentioned, there will be a potluck today, Friday, this afternoon at 4 p.m. or 1600 hours at uh, Chat and Chill Beach. Chat and Chill is closed today, so uh, there will be uh, lots of room over there. And if you want to come and bring a dish to pass and some drinks and uh, you know, bring your volleyball or whatever else uh, you want to do, it's a little windy in some places, but it's not bad over here. And uh, afterwards, we'll uh, try to have a little jam session if you want to bring your instruments and uh, your voices or whatever. We'll see how that goes with, uh, with the weather. Our desire back to you. All right, thank you, Hearts Desire. So it sounds like uh, the potluck is on for today at 4 p.m. at Chat and Chill Beach. Chat and Chill is closed, uh, but they have allowed us to use their space for a potluck. So bring a dish to pass for 4 p.m. Come early if you'd like to play volleyball. Stay late if you want to play some music. Uh, brave the weather and go over to the potluck at 4 p.m. today. Other community announcements or events this morning? Kahuna. Kahuna, good morning. Water aerobics today, 0900 South Monument Beach. All right, that's water aerobics today at 9 a.m. at South Monument Beach. Thanks, Kahuna. Other community announcements or events? Six Girl. Six Girl, go ahead. Hi, I'm just um, letting everyone know there's a new Facebook page up um, about Georgetown. It's called Georgetown Exuma Cruisers and... No, sorry. Georgetown Exuma, Exuma Sailors and Cruisers. Georgetown Exuma Sailors and Cruisers. Um, it has uh, some current information about the family island regatta that Julian posted that she mentioned in there. Also, she posted a great documentary about the family island regatta. You should come and join and uh, get to see what's going on around here. All right, thanks, Dale, on Six Girl, uh, announcing that there's a new Facebook page or a group, I'm not sure which, uh, for Georgetown Exuma Sailors and Cruisers. It's got the current Family Island Regatta information. It's a great place to uh, share resources with everyone else here in the harbor. Other community announcements or events this morning? Nothing heard? Other community today? Hearing a tiny little click, but no boat name. Uh, one last call, any community. <laughs> Nothing heard, so we'll move on to uh, Boaters General, beginning with taxi and ride shares. Anybody need to share a ride tour from the airport in the next few days? Taxi and ride share come now. Nothing heard. Any taxi or ride share? Again, nothing heard, so we'll move on to uh, Boaters General. Anybody in need of help, parts, expertise, anybody who needs some help? Boaters General, come now. Uh, Kensu. Kensu, go ahead. Um, I'm planning to leave tomorrow morning, and I can't manage to get my dinghy motor onto the boat. Uh, I'm single-handed. If anyone's passing, I could really use a hand. Um, I'm out towards the Lake Victoria. Over. <coughs> All right, that's Kensu. He's leaving tomorrow. He's having a little trouble getting his dinghy motor up onto the boat. He's located near Lake Victoria. Uh, sounds like maybe in Kid Cove. If anybody's there and can lend him a hand, call Kensu on 6 8 after the net or stop by the boat. Other boaters general today? Destiny 2. Destiny 2, go ahead. Does anyone know if taxis are running on Sunday? Over. That is a good question. Does anybody know, anybody have a quick answer, are taxis running on Sunday? Nothing heard. Um, however, if you want to stay on 72 after the net, we could probably get you hooked up with some of the local numbers, and you could also try calling out on channel 16 for a taxi destiny, too. Um, other boaters general today? Uh, Kensu. Kensu, go ahead. Uh, yesterday there was someone looking for diesel jerry cans. I just wondered if they managed to get them. I think I may have got the last two on the island, but I'd happily share one if they needed it badly enough. 
All right, Kensu, uh, just a call out to the vessel looking for diesel jerry cans yesterday. Uh, he might have the last two on the island. He says he's happy to share one if you still need it. Kensu, I presume, will be on 6-8 after the net. Uh, other boaters general today? Kavu, go ahead. Kavu, I barely heard you. I think I, um, if anybody else has a good read on Kavu, could you relay for me? Yeah, Kavu said something about uh, Volleyball Beach Sunday at 1. Heart's Desire. Heart's Desire, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Cordell Thompson is going to be giving his talk. I assume that's the one on flora and fauna or things that he's done before. I'm not sure what the subject was, but uh, at Volleyball Beach, Sunday, 1 o'clock. And um, he's also looking for a ride share. Uh, was that tomorrow uh, at noon? Okay, tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Uh, back to you, Emily. Thank you, Heart's Desire. Uh, so, Kavu, uh, I want to let everybody know Cordell Thompson uh, will be at Volleyball Beach Sunday at 1 o'clock to give a talk about the local uh, nature, flora and fauna. Uh, very interesting stuff there. And then Kavu is looking for a ride share tomorrow at 11 a.m. going to the airport. Kavu on 6-8 after the net. Other boaters general? Didn't quite get the boat name, but go ahead. Okay, the boat name sounded like allergic to city, uh, looking for mechanic help with something. Uh, Tim, on Heart's Desire, did you get a good read on him? Yeah, you copied that correctly. He's got uh, some engine problems with his Volvo. He's looking for a mechanic, or a shade tree mechanic, I should say, to help him out. All right, so allergic to the city, look, uh, looking for some help with some engine problems. Uh, call allergic to the city on 6-8 after the net. Other boaters general today? Nothing heard. Any other boaters general today? Uh, Ken Sue. Ken Sue, go ahead again. Um, I'm not sure if this really qualifies for this forum, but the um, there's a gentleman heading down from Grand Bahama. Uh, his name is Ken on Southern Star. Um, he's had multiple problems with his 43-foot boat. Um, he's single-handed. He's, he's got no autopilot. He's had engine problems and fuel problems, and he'll be arriving here in a week after I leave. Um, he probably would deserve a, a good welcome if someone could um, do that for me. Over. All right, everybody be on the lookout for Ken, who's arriving on Southern Star, coming from Grand Bahama in about a week. He's a single-hander on a 43-foot boat and seems to be having some issues with autopilot and engine and all kinds of things. So I'm sure he would benefit from lots of warm welcome from us and some help if you can offer it. Thank you again, Kensu. Again, the boat's name is Southern Star, and the single-hander's name is Ken. Uh, so we'll watch out for him in a week. Other boaters general today. Nothing heard. Any other boaters general? I didn't quite get a boat name. Try one more time. Yeah, this is uh, Eric on locomotion. Uh, Ken Sue, I'll give you a hand on your engine. I'll get over to 72 after the net. All right, locomotion uh, says Ken Sue, uh, he can help you with your motor this morning, so he'll get with you after the net. Other boaters general today? Sandy Paws. Sandy Paws, go ahead. Yeah, we're uh, just arrived here and keep hearing about the jet and chill. Is this uh, inside the Stocking Island Harbor, north, south, all the way in? Where's that? Uh, Sandy Paws, if you want to stay on 72 after the net, uh, Jeannie can help point out where Chat and Show Beach is from where you are and give you directions anywhere else you might need. So just stay on 72 at the conclusion of the net. We'll get your question answered. Other boaters general?
Nothing hurt any other boaters, General. Again, nothing hurt, so we will move on to trade or giveaway. Please note it is illegal in the Bahamas, as it is in many countries, to buy, sell, or trade goods or services unless the customs duty has been paid on the items involved. However, if you have items that you want to get off your boat or uh, trade or giveaway, please come now for trade or giveaway. Aphrodite. Aphrodite, good morning. Good morning, Emily. Good morning, Ned. Yeah, we're continuing to clean out our bilge. So uh, I have some fan belts for a Fisher Panda generator. I also have um, a control panel for a Spectra water maker. It's an MPC 5000 control panel. And I have a control panel for a Fisher Panda generator. I have um, some small Raycor fuel filter housings and fuel filters. These are the small, about an inch, inch and a quarter diameter by maybe two and a half inches long, the 025-RAC-02 filters. I have a Victron BMV 5000 battery monitor. I have a gallon of two-stroke oil that I don't need anymore, and I have a 20-pound propane tank that's in good condition. So I'll be on 6-8. It's, it's Rick on Aphrodite. I'll be on 6-8 after the net. Thanks. All right, Aphrodite is having a big sale. I'll try to recap as much as I could catch. She's got some fan belts for a Fisher Panda generator, a control panel FPC 5000 for, I think, a Spectra water maker, a control panel for that same generator, some small Raycor fuel filters about an inch and a quarter in diameter, um, and 025.RAC0 something or others, a battery monitor, and uh, there was something else, I think some two-stroke engine uh, fuel. And uh, so if you're interested in any of those things, uh, call Aphrodite because they're having a big sale on some stuff from their build. Oh, and they have a propane tank as well. Any other trader giveaway today? Locomotion One. Locomotion One, go ahead. Yeah, I have a, a pair of dinghy shafts uh, that I replaced my dinghy and it, was, it fits uh, Zodiac 310 and it's still good and it's a little bit ratty it was it was uh changed but it's uh champs. it's still in good shape champs. Champs. Uh, champs. also i have a set of, of dinghy oars uh if somebody's interested all right uh locomotion has a set of dinghy chaps that fit a zodiac 310 uh, he also has a set of dinghy oars if you are interested in those called locomotion on 68 after the net other trader giveaway today Windswept. Windswept. Go ahead first. I have a furling mainsail for a Beneteau 46 that I would like to pass on to someone that could use it. All right. Windswept has a furling mainsail for a Beneteau 46 he'd like to pass along. That's Windswept. I presume he'll be on 6-8 after the net. And there was some boat that sounded sort of like Caesar. Go ahead. Free pair. Free pair? Uh, free something? Go ahead. Free pair. Yeah, I have about 30 Pink Flamingo pool floats, inflatable. They're seven foot diameter. I picked them up to take them to the Columbus Day Regatta and get rid of them over there. And uh, nobody was there because they over patrolled the area. All right. Uh, tell us the name of your boat one more time. You're really close to your mic and overblowing it. Uh, what's the name of your boat? Free Prayer. Free Prayer has uh, 30 very big plink, pink flamingo pool floats uh, to give away. If you're interested in those, uh, call Free Prayer on 68 after the net. Other trader giveaway. Nothing heard. Any other trade or giveaway today? Discovery. Uh, is it Discovery? Go ahead. Yeah, I've got uh, some uh, seven, about 70 feet of 7 16th uh, regatta braid. Uh, I've got 130 feet of stay set, uh, red stay set, a uh, regular stay set uh, for a halyard. <laughs> and I've got a 65-pound uh, uh, claw lumar anchor. So uh, I'll stand by on 6-8 uh, after the net. All right, that's Discovery. He's got 70 feet of 716 regatta braid, about 30 feet of red stay set for a halyard, and a 65-pound claw lumar anchor. If you're interested in those things, call Discovery on 68 after the net. Other trade or giveaway today? Uh, Discovery again. Go ahead, Discovery. 
was 130 feet of uh, halyard. Copy that. That was 130 feet of the the stay set for the halyard. So my apologies. Other trader giveaway today. Nothing heard. Any other trade or giveaway? Again, nothing heard, so we'll move ahead to Kids Corner. This is the time for kids and teens and families to share events and information. If you have anything for Kids Corner, please come now. Nothing heard. One last call for Kids Corner. Alrighty, we'll move ahead then to new arrivals to welcome our new boats to the harbor. If you're new, just state the name of your vessel and I'll call on you to tell us who's aboard, where you're coming from, where you're going, and let us know if it's your first time in Georgetown. New arrivals, come now. Pacific High. Pacific High, go ahead. We are back, Jamie and Cynthia hey. of Pacific High. We were back here in uh, November, and it's so nice to hear your voice, Emily. The uh, net has grown, and it sounds awesome. Come over and visit us, uh, Temptress, when you get a chance, and any others that we met in November, and we're happy to be here. Over. All right, welcome back to Pacific High. That's Jamie and Cynthia. They are back. They were back here way back in November. Uh, when we were, and they are back in the harbor. So welcome back to Pacific High. Other new arrivals? Yeah, we spent some time. I didn't get a good read on any boat names. Someone try again. I hear someone coming through, but I'm not getting a clear reading. Heart's Desire, can you hear them? Yeah, it's allergic to cities. Go ahead. on um, allergic to cities. And they've uh, been here in 2007 but haven't been back, so welcome back to the harbor. All right, welcome back to Allergic to Cities, um, and uh, welcome back. They've been gone for a little while, so if you've got questions, feel free to hang out on 72 after the net. Genie on Blue Heavens tries to answer all of our newcomer questions and get you reacquainted with the harbor. You can also call out on 68 anytime. Um, other new arrivals today? Discovery. Discovery, go ahead. Yeah, Bob and Anita on Discovery. We're uh, returning from four years in the Caribbean <clears throat> on our way north. Uh, haven't been to Georgetown since uh, we went down to the Caribbean in 15. So uh, interesting to be back and uh, look forward to uh, hanging out and uh, doing with the cruisers here. All right, welcome back to Bob and Anita aboard Discover. They're back after spending four years in the Caribbean, so they've probably got some good knowledge for those of us heading that way. They are on their way north. Welcome to the harbor, Discover. Other new arrivals today? Lunacy. Sounds like Millicy. Go ahead. Uh, this is Lunacy, uh, Mark and Jennifer. Our third time in Georgetown. We are making our way back to the All right, that is, I guess, Lunacy, I think is the name. Uh, it's Mark and Jennifer. They're on their way back to the U.S. from spending hurricane season in Grenada. Welcome to the harbor to Lunacy. Other new arrivals? Sandy Paws. Sandy Paws, go ahead. Yeah, Chris and Connie, this is our second season out, our first time to the Bahamas, and the first time to Georgetown on our way north. All right, that's Chris and Connie about Sandy Paws. It's their first time in Georgetown. They're on their way north. Welcome to Sandy Paws. Other new arrivals today? Nothing heard. Any other new arrivals? Alrighty, well, welcome once more to Pacific High, Allergic to Cities, Discover, uh, Discovery, Lunacy, and Sandy Paws. We hope you enjoy your time in Georgetown. Let us know if there's anything we can do to help, uh, either after the net on 72 or anytime on 68. We'll move on now to final business. This is the last call for anything we might have missed or didn't yet cover today. Anything that can't wait until tomorrow, please come now. Six girl. I heard six girl. Go ahead. Hi, just want to announce the Texas Hold'em winners in third place was John on that blue houseboat in the Hurricane Bowl. And tied for third was George of St. Francis and myself from St. Francis. 
All right, congratulations to our Texas Hold'em winners last night. It sounded like there was a blue houseboat uh, that had a winner, and George at St. Francis, and Dale on Six Girl. Congrats again, and uh, Texas Hold'em will continue, I'm sure, next week, Tuesday and Thursday. Other final business today. A uh, couple on top of each other. Try again. All right, I don't get a good read there. Uh, can we get a relay? That's allergic to cities. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Allergic to cities, uh, go ahead. Cesario is allergic to city, is looking for a fuel pump for a Volvo 2030. He's also looking for some charts uh, between here and Florida. He's heading north to Florida. Anybody can help call allergic to cities on 6 8 after the net. Other final business today St. Andrew's Church. St. Andrew's Church. Go ahead, Jillian. Hi, I forgot to mention, I think I said it a few days ago, um, the community center next door to the St. Andrew's Church in Georgetown have a fish cookout as it's Good Friday, uh, starting at 3 p.m., and it's $12. Everyone welcome. Thanks, Emily, and everyone. All right, thank you, Jillian. So the community center located near St. Andrew's Church is having a fish fry today for Good Friday. That's $12 a person, and it starts at 3 p.m. All are welcome. That's the community center near St. Andrew's Church. 12 bucks, 3 p.m. today for fish fry. Other final business. Free prayer. Free prayer. Go ahead. Can we talk about the potluck dinner today at 4? Uh, sure. Do you have a question? Uh, yeah, where's it going to be, and, um, you know, just a little information on the potluck today at 4. Uh, I think Tim on Heart's Desire, are you organizing that? Any other information to share? Well, I'm announcing it anyway. Uh, it's at Chatchill Beach, so I believe you're anchored right up there. At least I saw you yesterday, so uh, right off your bow uh, at 4 o'clock. Bring a dish to pass and drinks and uh Instruments, volleyballs, anything else you want to uh, use for entertainment, uh, bring along. Free prayer, did you get a co good copy on that? Roger that. Just wanted to make sure we were on for four. Thank you. Anyone else with final business today? Lunacy. Lunacy, go ahead. I noticed a lot of uh, kites up in the air yesterday, so I'm looking for the uh, local knowledge on the kite spots. I'll be on the state after that. That's lunacy. I sort of read you. Are you looking for information about kiting? Yes, yeah, local kite spots, and I'll be on today. All right, that's lunacy looking for local kite spots. Anyone with local knowledge about uh, kiteboarding, uh, call lunacy on 6 8 after the net. Other final business today. Nothing heard. Anybody have our thought for the day today? Thought for the day. Aphrodite. Break. Uh, I had a break there. Go ahead. Yeah, locomotion. We have a runaway dinghy. It's uh, it's headed downwind, I presume. It just broke. All right, where are you located, locomotion? Just outside Kids Cove. It's probably headed towards Peace and Plenty. We can't please, see please it. look out. We cannot see it. It's blowing fast. All right, anybody able to help? Locomotion has a runaway dinghy. It's on its way from Kid Cove, heading towards Peace and Plenty. Anyone in that area, if you could take a look out uh, and grab that dinghy for them. Uh, that's Locomotion. Uh, they are located in Kid's Cove. Free prayer. I'll jump on to 26 now and go out and find it. 
All right, thank you. Free Prayer is jumping out and grabbing that dinghy for you, Locomotion. Uh, any Anything else before we get our thought for the day? Nothing heard Aphrodite. Did you have our thought for the day? Yes, I do. I did not want another thoughtless day like yesterday, so I have something to share to all the people out there. It is travel broadens us while love sustains us. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Aphrodite. Thank you, everybody else, for your contributions to the net today, your contributions to this community, helping everybody else. That's what makes George sound so great. Uh, it's now 8.33. The net is now closed. Please do remember to turn your radios back to low power at the end of the net if you don't need high power to connect to other vessels on 6.8. Uh, sailing vessel or motor vessel Blue Heavens will be standing by here on Channel 72 for newcomers and those who might need general information. If for some reason you can't hear Jeannie, I will be, this is Emily on Temptress, I'll be on Channel 7.9 if you need some general information but can't hear Jeannie. Um, again, it's been my pleasure to be your net controller today, and the net controller tomorrow will be me again. So I'll talk to you the same place tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for the Georgetown Cruisers Net. Everybody have a great day in Georgetown. Uh, check out that potluck at 4 p.m. today, or the fish fry at 3 p.m. today, or the all-you-can-eat pizza tonight. Uh, lots of stuff going on today in Georgetown. Uh, everybody have a great day. Over to you, Jeannie, Temptress to 7-9. Thank you, Emily, for an excellent net again. Um, all right, welcome to the new... Seven, nine. Did you need anything for the net today? Nope. Good job, babe. All right. As usual. I couldn't hear a lot of people. And you know what? I think I'm going to ask Tim to be a net coordinator for a day. I bet he would do it. Oh, he's, he's got a really good radio. And, and he's, he's locally, centrally located. There's a yeah. lot of people that don't have safe radios. They yeah. really just need to up their, their installations. Mm -hmm. um, I keep thinking when you get like three of them in a row, what if we have a problem? I should look into that. Then we hear people just fine, so. Yeah, I think it's just uh, a lot of the crew. Well, in the regatta, there's just more boats around and more people have decent radios. These are the people who left late and <laughs> <laughs> don't have decent radios. There's equipment. that, yeah. Ah, oh, there's the one guy do. that needs a, a fuel pump. He had a lot uh, of needs having the to do with his engine. And we, we're going back so we could, uh, we, we have an electric universal fuel pump. Okay. That we could, uh, you know. Okay. Yeah. That so. was allergic to city, so if uh, I can check back in with Heart's Desire in a little bit, ask him about the net and say, uh, could you ask allergic to cities if you found mm. his fuel pump because I can't hear him. That's right. That's the only thing I really remember anyway. Okay. Um, we just, mm, Aphrodite has a lot of stuff to get rid of as well. Yes, they do. The, the control panel for his Spectra, I'd like to have a new flow meter on ours, but the control panel for his Spectra, he put out, puts out so much that it would be like 30 or 40 gallons, so oh, okay. we'd barely see eight. Okay. Raycor filters. I don't what think was those the, He says inch and a half, inch and a quarter. Those are tiny. Inch and a quarter by two. They were I've tiny. never seen such small ones. And he has a 025 RAC something. I didn't write down what it was. Exactly. Probably the belts. He had a whole bunch of belts. Something that sounded like a Bocatron battery monitor, mm. two-stroke oil, and a propane tank. Oh. No, we can't fit the propane tank in a locker. We okay. can't put 10-pounders in there. Well, if it replaces the one, we can never fill. If it's aluminum, that would be, or, or plastic, that would be of interest. Mm. Free prayers. 30 pink flamingos. Inflatable. There's got to be something fun to do with that. Well, I bet Regatta would have fun with them. Yeah, it's like the um, like the unicorn your sister bought us. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.